Hi and welcome, this is Jam Jar 34 bringing you the spice. Yes, I'm back in the hobby kitchen and I've got something really spicy for you today. I'm going to be doing a review for Legendary Kingdoms, which is um, a role playing adventure um, book. So the second book is on Kickstarter, so go over to Kickstarter and check it out. It is awesome. Um, about a month ago, I was on Facebook and it came up, and I was I'm in an R in like I do. Um, so I waited for the Kickstarter to start. And I was looking through Facebook again and it came back up. So I went over and had a look. And yes, I I think I had to support it, to be perfectly honest. It's something new, something different for me. And it looks just fantastic. The artwork, um, the way it's all set out. And it's not just one book. There's more, there's lots of books. So, for me, there's a few things that got me interested. As the phrase goes, don't judge a book by its cover. I sort of did. Um, the second book, the cover looks absolutely fantastic. And then I got into it a little bit more and saw the first book and thought, mm, yeah, I think I'm going to like this a lot. So, the things I'm going to talk about are the character sheet. Then I'm going to go into give you the example of the first book, which I've got. I've had um, email back and forth with um, the producer and the author. Um, and then at the end I'm going to let the author tell you about the book because I think that's the best way to tickle your taste buds and there's nothing like an author telling you about the book that he's written so the character sheet, um, it looks very, very easy to use, which is always good. Um, you've got name, you've got attribute, which is fighting, stealth, law, survival, charisma. And along the top, you've got skill and modified. So whether that skill has been modified. Health, armor and equipment. And you've got notes on the bottom, which is always a good thing to have and then you've got spell book so they can put the character's name the spell and description and whether it's been recharged or not and you can have six six spells in there um, then you've got money thing for money there on the right hand side The, f the vault codes which is even more impressive to be perfectly honest it's just in insight into it a little bit more and then you've got your fleet so you've got the ship name fighting health cargo units location and cargo so that's just another detail into it as well then you've got your armies unit strength morale and garrison so in the actual book you obviously can have armies the battlefield the enemy and it goes into de it goes into details uh, left flank support center support 
right flank support left flank front center front and right flank front and it's got your forces as well and it's got mission notes as, as well on top of that so that got me that got me hooked and the codes so you've I think with the code you have to have a code to get through to the next stage if you don't then you have to go somewhere else it's that sort of type of book so let's go now I've gone through that that's probably the most important bit let's go to the example book that I've got there you go legendary kingdoms the valley of the bones this is the first book um, and So if you see the artwork, it's yeah, it's off scale. I do like it. One of the things that pulled me in was the artwork for the first book and the second book. If first of not the first, uh, second book. So that's book one. Going down, it is on a PDF. So author and game designer Oliver and producer John. with all the copyright stuff and now this is another hook for me maps I'm a bit of a one for maps if a book's got a map then I'm sold it's just nice to re um, refer back to the map just to see where the um, characters are going and how far they've gone So by this time I'm hooked, if not I've been hooked about five times already, if not more. Then you've got a colour one, I mean the mountains, this is what I like about it basically. The stone walls, they're just mountains, they're stone, that's, I mean that's just a nice touch. Um, I like the fact that it's got um, the black wall. The granite hills. Um, yeah, it's it's just fantastic. So it goes down. The venture begins. Welcome to Legendary Kingdoms, a fantasy adventure game book where you take a party of adventurers into a dangerous adventure-filled land. Early in your, in your career, you will simply at attempt to survive in a world of peril. But as you become more famous and powerful, your actions will determine the fate of empires. Wow. Yeah, this is good. So, Legendary Kingdoms is a series of books with each book covering a different area of the world. You keep the same party of adventurers throughout, improving in skill and power, discovering new lands and curious civilizations. At any time, you can leave one book and go to another by simply travelling off the edge of the map or flying, sailing, magically transporting yourself or any number of other astonishing ways see that's that, that's that's hooks me just by being able to jump from book to book um, your party members all have their own stories to tell including romances settling old scores and quests for enlightenment you can play these books any way you choose as simple travelers exploring strange ruins and wonderful cities as revolutionary, revolutionaries determined to overthrow tyranny or as crusaders against a dark and lurking threat. Yeah, sold. 
I'm sold. Um, that's why I backed it, basically. Um, I'm just sold. It's, it's a book I want to... Something new for me. And it's not just one book and the quest is finished. You can go book to book to book to book. You can play it by yourself or you can play it um, as a party of people. So if you have four adventurers, you have four people playing. So it's sort of multi, multi-person as well. Before... Before beginning your game, you must select a party of adventurers and learn a few rules about skill checks and combat. After that, turn to reference one to begin your adventures. Good luck and may send Elias watch over you. So, just by reading that, I'm even more hooked than I was before I actually read it. Um, yes, the artwork is superb, um, and for someone like myself who has um, trouble reading, um, that's fantastic. So let's go. Let's go on. Um, I'm going to do the video at the end anyway, because um, that's a must by any means. You must select a group of four adventurers to explore the legendary kingdoms. These adventurers are called party members and each have their own backstory and set of abilities. You can select any four party members but it is wise to have a balance of different skills in your party. If you only select the fierce fighters, you might struggle when it comes to sneaking around or charming people. Once you have selected your party members, you should note down their skills and abilities on the adventure sheet provided at the back of this book. You can also download a copy of this sheet from www.legendarykingdoms.com So that's cool. They're giving you options of downloading it. And I think you also just need some dice and a pencil. And probably a rubber because you might have to rub out some stuff. Lord Tai Kwan and Emily Amelia Pass Dane can cast spells which makes up for their poor skill and health scores. You can read the rules on spells a little later on. Oh yes, I'm so hooked. I'm getting more hooked and so there we go, these are the characters. So what you've got, Spellcaster, Sir Jessica, Dane, Fighting 5, Stealth 1, Law 3, Survival 2, Stamina 4 and Health 8. Lord Taekwon has Health 6, Fighting 1, um, Stealth 2, Law 5, Survival 1, Charisma 2. Um, he's a spellcaster. So he goes into um, a little bit of their backstory and who they are and characteristics. Um, So you've got four, five, six. So you've got six characters you can choose from. Um, so that's all cool. And uh, let's go. 
Every party, let's go for skills. Let's just read a bit more on skills and stuff. Um, every party member has five skills that are, that are used to get them out of sticky situations. Fighting determines your skill in personal combat as well as your phys physical strength. Stealth helps you sneak around, hide from enemies or lose pursuers in a crowd. Law is your knowledge of arcane, religious and historical facts. Well, survival helps you forge forage sorry in the wilderness native for um native forests climb mountains etc charisma is your ability to charm in tim intimidate and persuade people you meet so there's lots of behind stuff so you've got Usually the values of your skills don't change very much, however you might sometimes be told to improve or reduce your skills during your adventures. There is no maximum skill score, but no skill can drop below zero for any reason. Now that's good. We like that, just that bit. Um, so you've got skill checks. Just go through and got health so it goes through everything combat it tells you about combat armor saves I know about armor saves um, with the models I do so that's all good I'll read that just getting your taste bugs even more going casting spells automatic damage charging and draining spells Discovering new spells. Also, you can discover new spells as well. How awesome is that? Equipment, armor bonuses. So, there you go. Different armor gives you different plus scores. Oh! Dropping items. If you are carrying too many items and wish to make room for more, you can simply rub out an item you don't want on your event adventure sheet. However, this means it is gone forever. Oh. Money. Silver coins are the standard currency in legendary kingdoms. You can carry any amount of money on you at any given time. Silver is a lucky metal. If a party member dies and their body can't be found, you can assume that, luckily, they won't carry in any cash at their time of death. Only if the text specifies tells you to lose your money or you spend it, will you lose silver coins. And it's got the vault. Ah, this is the bit that... The code bit. Hang on, I'll just get up there a minute. Sorry. Codes. To keep track of the events that happen in your adventure, you will be asked to record codes, such as a B12 or an E13. When this happens, just circle the appropriate code on the back of your adventure sheet. Don't rub out a code unless the book tells you to do so. Sometimes you will be asked if you have a certain code or item. If you do, immediately turn to the paragraph number indicated. Occasionally you will be asked multiple times if you have a certain code. When this happens, check each code in the order in which you are asked. Otherwise, you may turn to a paragraph that doesn't make sense. Otherwise, you may turn to a paragraph that doesn't make sense. So, yeah, it helps to have the codes. 
Um, so it also says up here, um, you will notice that some sections are faded out in grey. These areas can't be accessed in the sample version. Simply choose a non-grade um, out option to continue your adventure. Yay. So, well, um, spell list. So you've got spell list. Animal speech. Um, armor of heaven. Ice bolt. Magic cabinet. Poison, poison stream. Unfailing strike. And wolf spirit. So there's the spells. Now turn, now turn to one and begin your adventure. So we're gonna quickly go to one. And read it read through it quickly. You stir into consciousness. Heat and blazing sunlight. The slow rumble of a, of a wagon. Heavy chains upon your limbs. You groan. Your mouth dry, your stomach empty. As your eyes focus, you can see your companions, fellow survivors of the brutal, brutal pirate attack, crushed together with you upon the floor of a rolling wagon. Do you remember li little since then, except vowing to your newfound friends that you would st stick together, come what may? You are relieved to see that they are still, they are still alive. But who are you? Gazing through the bars of the wagon, your eyes focus on the, on the blazing yellow, grey desert. To the left. Filling the sky are the stone walls, a massive and impenetrable mountain range that divides the barren kingdoms of the south from the unique and mysterious lands of Drake Harlow. But which side of the range are you? The answer becomes immediately apparent as you look beyond the Smelly dragon yaks, which are ponderously, um, ponderously hauling your cage. A vast, crumbling city of minerites and run-down uh, adopts, adopts, adobe build. Oh, adobe buildings fills your view. The, st the sting in the air and on your lips tells you all you need to know. This is Salt Dad. Cruel throne of the tyrant Iron King. And one of half a dozen tin pot dictators in the bar Baronic Valley of the Bones. You are far from civilised lands here. So I'm just going to go down. Um, Thin-faced slave slavers with spears rattle the, the sides of your cage, barking at you to get down. You slump on on your hindquarters. For the moment, there is nothing you can do. You can do with you and your companions in chains. Chains. But you swear you will regain your freedom and start your lives anew. But first, you must survive the horrors of slavery. 
turn to 35. So what you do is basically, you turn to 35, read that, and, you, and the adventure continues. So that's all good. So I'm going to leave you with the, f the words of the author and tickle your taste buds a little bit more for this. I'm absolutely supporting this. I'm on their Facebook page. Um, I'm following their Instagram and I'm following obviously the Kickstarter. So here we go. It's just so the story. Let's do this now. Pretty much putting the entire 
uh, kind of uh, country in great peril and its existence in doubt. It's the story also of Lord Tiquan, who is your most powerful spellcaster, uh, and his uh, relationship with his magical college, Animus Mast. Uh, he left under a bit of a cloud, and uh, he still hasn't completely finished his studies there. If you complete that story for Lord Tiquan, he can become a great archmage, and uh, that will be really, really useful for the, uh, the final Emplar. So guys, there you have it, a little intro at the back of this video um, by the author. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review um, and post some comments down below and do the funky stuff as usual. Um, I will see you in the next one. This is Jam Jar signing off. Bye for now. Bye bye.